Hello, Ophiuchus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to another general energy reading for you. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this reading finds you well. Please keep in mind, Ophiuchus, that this is a uh, a general reading, yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be talking to a cross-watcher here. Things could be resonating that way. But just take it as it resonates for you. Place it into your life as it fits. Don't try to force anything that doesn't naturally fit into your situation. Also, Ophiuchus, this is a timeless reading. So yes, it is dated for or associated with the month of July, but that is really just for organizational pro uh, purposes, okay? This can all resonate for you at any moment in your life whenever you are guided to watch and it resonates then that's the message for you in that moment regardless as to the time yes please make sure to like share comment and subscribe if you feel so inclined and you haven't done so already all right Ophiuchus I'm gonna give this two more shuffles here and we'll get into this and see what what's going on for you what messages do we have for you at this time for my Ophiuchus sun moon rising and north node last shuffle whoops all right there we go excellent Ophiuchus let's do this what's going on for Ophiuchus at this time please spirit what's going on for Ophiuchus Ooh, ooh. okay uh we have the three of cups we have the king of wands in reverse and That's enough. Okay. Three of Cups, King of Wands reversed, Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Interesting. All right. There's... First and foremost, what I'm picking up on here, Ophiuchus, is that there is some sort of determination to move forward with a certain situation, with a certain individual or a group association, Three of Cups. Three of Cups, King of Wands in reverse, Page of Cups, Four of Pentacles. This is giving me a feeling of immaturity, and especially coming from this Page of Cups energy. I feel like here, someone is being extremely selfish, somebody in your life, it, it might be you, it might be, um, but also it may be someone in your life, a father figure, a masculine individual, someone, maybe a patriarch of some sort, somebody that has some sort of clout or some sort of authority or somebody that is just in your life, okay? Someone that you're associated with, someone that you're connected to. Uh, take it as it resonates, Ophiuchus. But there, it feels like somebody here is continuing to move forward, is refusing, refusing to let go of something. Four of Pentacles. For some fairly naive or immature reasons. I want to say, Ophiuchus, that somebody here is misguided. And they're keeping the, the reason why they're continuing to move forward in this way, slowly but surely, systematically, Knight of Pentacles. There may be some sort of plan involved here. There may be so uh, there, there might actually be a plan of action. Um, a, a way forward, a path forward that's laid out somehow. And it feels like that is dictated or delineated by this Three of Cups energy. This Three of Cups energy feels like the sole reason as to why someone seems to be holding down or hunkering down or doubling down on something, why they don't, why they refuse to let this go. And it's because this Three of Cups energy validates their feelings or their reality. Oh gosh, but it, but the thing about it is, it feels like with this King of Wands in reverse, it feels like this individual here is choosing to identify with whatever this 
three of cups, hive mind mentality, collective belief, or a belief or understanding that is held by a group of people, this person is choosing to hold on to this because it, because it validates them. It's hard to explain. I mean, I'm explaining it, I know, but there's something else in there that I'm having trouble putting into words. It's like this person could find any reason any, I mean, I mean, like, okay, so I guess, I guess the energy here is that you can, if you really want to, Ophiuchus or Crosswatcher, whomever this is for, if you really want to, you can go out there and find something that agrees with you. Find something or someone that agrees with your point of view, that validates your existence, that validates your feelings, whatnot, whatever, whoop de whoop and all that bullshit. But, I mean, so... That right there is a reason to to say, well, of course you of course you you found something that validates you. You could find that anywhere. So like it only helps to invalidate what's going on here for this person. This person is in misalignment. This person is misguided. This person is in an extremely selfish energy, is extremely self-centered, is only thinking about themselves and what it is that they want and their viewpoint or their mindset, what it is they're trying to achieve, what it is they're feeling passionate about. The main thing I wanna say about this is that this person is misguided somehow and it really is it really could be that they are misguided because they are choosing to align or choosing to actively look for something that aligns with them instead of really looking for the truth of the situation whether the truth would be found in physical reality or the truth would be found within themselves but then they would need to be self-aware they would need to be uh self-reflective i'm seeing nine of I'm seeing um, hermit energy now. They, like they would need to, they would need to do some soul searching first, you know, to come to terms with whatever it is they're trying to prop up here, whatever it is they're trying to hold on to for dear life, what they don't want to let go of. And I feel like they're being kind, quite childish about it. With the page of cups here, I do feel like they're being quite childish on an emotional level. There is a lacking of emotional maturity here. You know, I mean, it's not even like it's a Knight of Cups where it could seem or could come across as this person's heart is in the right place, maybe. No, it's the Page of Cups. It's complete like, blah, 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 I can't hear you, I can't hear you, blah, 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 blah. Like, like literally somebody blocking their ears or intentionally not listening being emotionally, very emotionally immature here. Because also, um, emotional maturity would also speak to them needing to come to terms with themselves. Them needing to listening, listen to outside sources or uh, listen to something rather than just their ego, okay? Very strange. Very strange. Let's get into some, some clarity here to see if we can get down to the bottom of this situation. Yeah. For you, Ophiuchus. Clarification for my Ophiuchus, please. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Clarification for Ophiuchus, please, spirit. Sun, moon, rising, and north node. All right, let's start with this King of Wands in reverse. What is the King of Wands? Yeah, see, first card out is strength. This is all ego. Clarify the King of Wands in reverse. Five of Cups in reverse, yep. Good Lord. It feels like this person is on some sort of crusade because of their feelings. Oh shit, and then the King of Cups, which is upright? That's crazy.
you have the King of Cups here, okay? And the King of Cups would represent that emotional maturity that I was feeling was lacking here. This person is on a crusade. But what I will say is, yes, this person is pursuing something for emotional reasons. But I feel like this person is blinded by the emotion. So they may be a grown ass man or woman. They may be a fairly mature individual, but what it is they are going after or how it is they are pursuing this situation is in fact for emotional reasons, but they are blinded by their ego and their, their being wrapped and, and, and the fact that they're wrapped up in sorrow. That's, I, I mean, it's interesting that the King of Cups has come out here and it's come out upright. So what that says to me is this person really does believe in what, in they, what they are pursuing. But what I also want to say is that they are pursuing it for the wrong reasons. This kind of feels like revenge. Overall energy here is the five of pentacles. Lack mentality. Woe is me. Pity party. Feeling left out in the cold. This person may feel slighted. This person may feel betrayed. This person may feel used, abused in some way. And now they're going to get back at someone else for it or they're going to get back at in, like, gosh. All right. With that said, then let's clarify, clarify the page of cups. Clarify the page of cups. The queen of swords. Clarify the Page of Cups, please. The Six of Swords. Oh, shit. The Queen of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Something is over. Something ended. And the Eight of Pentacles. You know what's interesting about this? Ophiuchus is, I, I wasn't really intending on this to be like a love or relationship reading. I'm looking at this from the point of view, from the perspective of Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node, not Venus. So if it were Venus, then I would be more inclined to say, okay, maybe this is a love reading. Uh, it still could be though. I'm not like, I'm not, because my intention was to bring forward whatever messages need to come through for the sign of Ophiuchus. And it feels like somebody here is dealing with some sort of relationship that has now ended, that is now over. Um, because what I'm feeling, really what I'm feeling coming through in, in this clarification now is the, re is the energy of somebody else. This could be a, a relationship that has ended here, Ophiuchus. And the King of Wands would represent an individual that is very much self-centered. And, and with the Page of Cups, someone is very emotionally immature. <laughs> Hold on, my cat wants to come inside. Now with that said, Ophiuchus, this doesn't have to be romantic. Okay, this could just be a friend, a family member. This could be a business colleague. I don't know a business association, a business partner. I don't know, but, or, or it could be romantic, but what it's feeling like is happening now is what we have initially is describing someone that you had some sort of association or relationship with, who seems to be on a specific path. that align, that they have found a way to validate for themselves. Okay, great. But now in terms of the clarification here, while yes, this King of Cups was giving me, was giving me energies of somebody is pursuing something for the wrong reasons. Now, especially with this new energy of the Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, it, it feels like, now it feels like that this, these cards here represent someone else represents someone who said, you know what? 
I'm going to rein my ego in strength. I'm going to get over the pain or the sorrow that I'm feeling here. And I'm going to do what's right. I'm going to, I'm going to disregard any sort of five of cups, any sort of energies of feeling sorrowful or mourning this situation. I am not going to mourn this situation any longer. And in terms of the emotional immaturity here, I'm showing, or, or this person is showing up emotionally mature, doing what it is they know they need to do, regardless of how they may feel about it. And what's going on here, Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, this needs to be over. That's what this says to me. This association, this relationship, point blank period, no arguments about it. It is what it is. There need to be some harder boundaries here. I need to move forward. We need to end this situation. I have involved myself enough. I have put enough time, attention, energy, and effort into this. We've been doing this for X amount of time and it is not getting better. And it's all because somebody here has decided that they're going to validate themselves through means that are not really appropriate here because they want what they want and they're gonna get it at all, at all costs, even if, especially if at this point it feels like, especially if it means that, that's the, that this relationship is over because of it or this situation is over because of it. And it could very well be the fact that somebody ended this situation with them, that they are now so dead set on achieving what it is that they, they said they were going to achieve or they wanted to achieve. And that could be why they have found a way to validate themselves. Ooh, honey. Let's talk about that then. Let's talk about this Three of Cups energy. The Three of Cups also could be, uh, I mean, the Three of Cups is definitely showing up as a third party association. Now, you, we could be talking about a romance here, a romantic relationship in which there is a third party that's come into play in terms of a third party romantic, a third, a, 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 a third wheel, another lover. I was kind of picking up on that energy with the Three of Cups here, but then I was saying to myself, Eric, I'm not doing... Venus here, I, I, this is not necessarily supposed to or intended to be a love reading, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm just the messenger here. And this, if this is the message that Ophiuchus needs, sun, moon, rising, north node, then hey, there it is right there. Okay. But it doesn't have to be another lover. This three of cups could just be the reality of whomever this person is finding that is validating them, that is only helping to drive a wedge more through this relationship or in between the two of you here, or in between the parties that are involved here, okay? Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is absolutely a third party influence here, whether it's another lover or whether it's a thought process, a philosophy, a group, I don't know. Who, however this person is finding a way to validate themselves, it is absolutely a third party interference. Okay. And I literally hear, especially with this Queen of Swords I, and King of Cups, I feel like someone is looking at this King of Wands in reverse, like, who is finding validation through this Theory of Cups, like, get real with yourself, bro. Like, this is part of the reason why someone is pulling away from this relationship, because this person is extremely delusional. And it feels like they're choosing to remain in a delusional state instead of waking up, snapping, coming back to reality or snapping, snapping, getting with it. Clarify the Three of Cups, please, for Ophiuchus. The Knight of Cups in reverse. There it is right there. Their heart is not in the right place. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. I literally said that while I was talking about the Page of Cups here, right here. I was saying it's not it's not even like it's the Knight of Cups where maybe this person could could their heart could be in the right place. Maybe they're maybe they mean well. Nope. Nope. And now the Knight of Cups has come out, but it's come out in reverse to verify, to validate, to confirm that whatever this association is with this third party or this hive mind mentality or this collective belief system or however they're finding a way to validate themselves, their heart is totally misaligned. They may not even actually be listening to their heart. 
Their heart may be actually saying to them the same thing or a similar thing that this person, the Queen of Swords, King of Cups, is saying to them. But that also could be what is driving them so hard. There is a level of determination here to say, I, you are wrong and I am going to prove it to you. And they are running themselves into the ground, digging themselves even in an even deeper hole trying to do that. And someone else is standing out here on the outside, look, like literally saying to themselves, do you, do you see this? Is this really happening right now? Yep, it's really happening. This person is going gung ho just to prove you wrong or just to validate themselves because you didn't want to validate them. They are going to find a way to validate themselves. Clarify the three of cups, please. This could very well even be somebody going to or sticking with or choosing this third party influence because they say they are agreeing with them in the moment. I, I, if you are dealing with an individual here in which you had a, a, a serious long term or just like a romantic relationship or whatnot, whatever. And you're finding yourselves drifting apart because this person is delusional and now they have aligned with someone who validates their delusions for them. You are watching this person run themselves further, deeper into the ground. And you are doing the right thing by saying, by cutting all ties and cutting all associations and being like, you know what? If that's what you need to do, then you just go ahead and do it. Six, uh, uh, but I'm not going to be here for it. I'm not going to be around here for it. And I'm not going to wait for you to Go through the experience and figure that out. If you're going to do that, we are done completely. 100% done and there is no going back. Queen of Swords, Six of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, period. You're right. Just keep going. Clarifying the Three of Cups here, the next card we have is the, se the Seven of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Cups, please. One last card for the, Queen of Cups, uh, the Three of Cups, please. Is it upright or reversed? Well, it is sideways. It's the king of swords. Overall energy is the world. All right, look. Um, honestly, Ophiuchus, the, uh, let me just show you this. The world is at the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Honestly, what I feel coming through uh, from the from the clarifying deck is I feel like this is the energies of the other person. The person who is deciding to leave this King of Wands in reverse behind. This King of Wands in reverse who is literally looking at you as they're riding forward, continuing with whatever plan that they have in front of them or whatever plan it is that they're going for with some sort of smug look on their face. Like, whatever, I don't need you. I'm going to keep going anyway. All right, buddy, you do that. You do that. I hope you have fun. Now, clarifying the Three of Cups. First of all, the Knight of Cups is reversed. I feel like that is the energy of the other person as well as the person that is here in the King of Cups. I'm sorry, the King of Wands reversed. But it's the energy of the other person because I feel like you know exactly that this person's heart is not in the right place or they're not actually listening to their heart. Knight of Cups in reverse. You know exactly what is about to happen or you know exactly where this is about to lead this person or you know exactly that this is not going to turn out well. Seven of Pentacles to the King of Swords. Ultimately, you or this other person sees exactly what is about to happen here. Or this is the energy of you saying to this King of Wands in reverse, if that's what you want, King of Swords, then you go right ahead. King of Swords, objective, I, ob ob object objectivity. I see what it is you're trying to work for now. King of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. And you know what? If that's what you want, go right ahead. But this situation between us is over the world. Finally, let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles, Spirit. Queen of Wands. Eight of Swords. 
clarify the four of pentacles and the seven of swords overall energy is the star i mean i don't know what this is for this person i don't know what this is for this person man but they are they are hell bent on receiving it I just, I really feel like the, um, the clarifying deck here is talking about energies of another person that is associated with this King of Wands in reverse. And what I want to say about this, Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords, I just feel like you know, you see that this is their alignment. I guess this is what they wanted all along. And maybe they were, decep they were deceptive towards you about it. Maybe they weren't completely honest with you about it. But I feel like you desire to be free from this. But whatever it is this person is holding on to, man, it is delusional. They are trapped in this energy. And I don't even think it's going to... I, I, what I'm getting with the Eight of Swords to the Seven of Swords, they are trapped in this. They don't see anything else other than this. They're like obsessive single-mindedly focused on whatever it is they are trying to deceive here but or, or i'm sorry receive here but it's deceptive i don't think and i think that's what you know or this other person knows you know that mm, this is not good seven of swords this is not good this is not going to turn out right or this is not they're, they're not this is not going to get them what it is that they actually want or what it is that they actually want is not right it's not what they really not what they think they want it's not what they think it is blah blah something like that i don't know but you're better off without this for sure closing message here closing message please spirit for my ophiukans closing message potential outcome for ophiukans closing message potential outcome Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Somebody here knows exactly what's about to happen. Oh, look at that. The world. Yeah, closing message here. Overall energy in terms of that. The situation's over. It's over. Why? Because you know exactly where this person is heading. Seven of Pentacles. And you just don't want to be involved. Ten of Wands. You would rather not have that burden. Ten of Wands in reverse. Okay, we have three more cards here. What are these? Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Lovers. Six of Pentacles, Reciprocity, Balance of Give and Take, Nine of Cups, Happiness and Contentment, the Lovers. It's my choice. Knowing that this situation is not going to be balanced and reciprocal, wanting to be happy and choosing to end it. Period. There you have it. <laughs> that is excellent. Um, you know, Ophiuchus, I want to get your closing oracle guidance from the Love Your Inner Goddess deck because I really do feel, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. I just really feel like somebody here is really choosing to love themselves over another person's selfish wishes and or desires. I feel like you are actually loving yourself better because you're the one that's being honest with yourself or you are the one that exhibits an energy of being honest and forthright with yourself while the other person is the exact opposite. But you know what? Let them go on and do whatever it is they're going to do. Just let them go. Closing oracle guidance for my Ophiuchan, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, Spirit. Last shuffle. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit, for Ophiuchus. There it is. Wow. Uh, uh. Okay, card number 30. Priority of purpose. And on the card, it says, love is everything. That's cute. Okay. But let's... Let's read this. Card number 30. Priority of purpose. In a reading, this card says, You are a dreamer, but you are also meant to be a doer. It is the right time to cast off some of the demands on your time and attention that are keeping you from pursuing your true purpose. If you have many dreams, that's fine, but it is wise to focus on what you can do now. 
allow your other dreams to pre, uh, to percolate in the background for a while. While it's time to attend to, or when it's time to attend to them, you'll know. For now, do what you can and don't be afraid to make a sacrifice or two along the way. Those sacrifices will be, uh, will be repaid in more ways than you currently know. You won't lose anything by dropping the distractions and going for it. So you, this might be a situation, Ophiuchus, in which you have a specific intention that you want to go after and you've been associated with someone that has been leading you astray or has been a, a distraction to you. And you are exhibiting this exact opposite energy because you were honest or you are being honest with yourself and saying, this is not leading me where I want to go. This is not taking me where I want to go. And you have this person saying, oh, just trust me, just believe me. This is how you do it, blah, blah, blah. No, there, no, no, no. Drop this like a hot potato. It's a distraction, okay? All right, Ophiuchus, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. And if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below. Shoot me an email, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. But with that said, I hope you have a fantastic month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.